Top eight. Top eight. <laughs> What's it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, who? <laughs> anyway. All right. Zombie ain't playing around anymore, though. He yeah. He's going to bring out the Rob and uh, Sensei's going to bring out the Snake. So let's see exactly how this one's going to go. Now, Zomba, his item control is crazy. Not only with his character, but with another person's items as well. So let's see how exactly he's going to play this neutral. I mean, definitely going to be strong with it. Uh, I feel like Snake is falling off a little bit. It's not to say Snake's not good, but I feel like people have, at this point in time kind of figured out how you're exactly supposed to play around Snake. And I feel like there's a lot of characters that just happen to play against Snake very well. I think Rob is definitely one of them. Uh, you know, can trade a lot with the projectiles. Uh, they already know how to play the item game like you mentioned because of the gyro. So after that, it's just kind of trying to find a way in at the big body of Snake and put down as much damage as possible. And Zamba is definitely a Stone Cold Killer. Yeah, no, for sure. We're talking about items a little bit. I love the way that Grenade just happened to have been there because I feel like Sensei would have locked, lost his stock a lot earlier if it wasn't for that Grenade in his hand. But back throw, not going to take it quite yet. Sensei going to go high in the sky, try and find a nice way down. He's able to do so. And getting that back here as well, putting out a little bit of extra damage. But 176, and the Snake is a bit heavy and has have a pretty decent recovery. Uh, although Snakes tend to have to opt for recovering high for the most part and just trying to find their way down. And whoop, what a weird situation right there. 208 though, please take the stocks off. <laughs> one of them can at this point. I feel like a grab from Snake into one of those up tilts might do it. Or the F smash, all right, we got reaction. Yeah, definitely a very good reaction right there. But 220, man, that's definitely got to be a feel-bad <laughs> moment. But the up throw, Tombstone Pile Driver, of send course. that man to the top of glass zone. Of course. And, of course, now we're, like, two minutes into the set. Only one stock has been taken. So I wonder if that's going to be kind of the precedent for the rest of the set. Once again, we're going to see these players kind of just find their way around the projectiles. But I feel like once both of them are in, they're doing such a good job of pushing their advantage like all the way up. Like Zamba's, Zamba's advantage state, dude, is unreal. It's so strong. Zamba is definitely a, a very, very talented kid. Uh, especially what, there's like, what, 17, right? Something 16, like 17. 16, 17, yeah. Very talented kid, only going to be getting better, and especially in a region like Tri-State, oh, where yeah. it's so stacked as it is. I mean, you, there's there's no shortage of playing against strong players. Ooh, right now, it's out the stock right there. And man, Sensei was in a bad spot the entire time. Yeah, that was definitely a meta view clip right there. Oh my god, I love the way he just passively waited off of there. I feel like uh, Sensei thought he was safe, but speaking of safe, that was not safe. And wowee, this, this set has been so back and forth so far. I feel like whenever Zamba gets, you know, a kill, it's just Sensei's charging right back at him. I mean, that's what you kind of have to do sometimes. Like, Snake's got some great boxing options, but so does Rob. Like, Rob's got really good boxing options, and we only see it more and more. And, like, that down tilt is one of them. You know, you can just, just chase an opponent all the way across the stage and then get a huge smash attack that goes it all out. It's like a jab reset that never ends. Yeah, no, for sure. You're absolutely right, Skiff. But now we're going to see this kind of tense neutral come back now here at Last Stocks. But the down tilt going for the back here doesn't quite get it. But, oh, my God, you are not ready for that. Neither was I. Off the backboard, call him Tim Duncan. Gonna be able to take that first <laughs> game with a with a pretty pretty strong uh, aggressive stocks just being taken here. Like this one right here, throwing out that back air, just really like a heat seeking missile, finding them all the way out there to close it out. Yeah, no, for sure. It was a really good edge guard. I feel like every time I see Zamba now, he's going for things that are more and more creative. I mean, we know Rob Tech, we know when things hit, but I feel like that back air off the, off the side, second stock still is, has me shook, but we're gonna go right back to PS2, of course. This is Tri-State's home. Well, I mean, as, as good of a recovery as, as the stick has, the disadvantage can be a, a lot of trouble, and it's a big body, uh, and the recovery isn't exactly fast, so if you had a character like Rob, who's got all those resources to be able to go challenge that, like, you can really find a way to take advantage of those stocks, and oh, unfortunate down smash in the wrong direction. Yeah, no, for sure, but Zamba was ready with that grab, We're gonna down throw in, goes for the up smash, doesn't exactly hit, so Zamba's still playing it super aggressive, but Sensei, he's just trying to find his footing here. Get that solid dash attack. Just put on a little bit of damage. 149. This is definitely looking rough. Did he get the C4 stick? No, he didn't. All right, just dropped it onto the ground. So a little bit of a safe play for Zamba. But yeah. All right, there goes exploding. Getting that out of the way. Zamba has nothing to worry about. Uh oh. Yeah, nice ricochet off the grenade there. He's gonna be able to kind of even things up inside of the neutral. But really, one grab. Uh oh. Nikita coming down to save the day. Nothing quite yet. Ooh. Okay. Zamba with the getup attack. Saying no, 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 no. You first, not me. 
definitely a great mix up there just uh because they already knows what happened after that first stock in game one chasing him all the way for that forward tilt getting a one two buckle by shoe but this time <laughs> not gonna be able to get it yeah no and once again we're gonna see this neutral here it's whoever kind of strikes first f smash by sensei or yep there we go send him another yeah. one Got it, that second forward tilt once again. But here's the thing is this first stock has definitely been a problem for Zamba, like just to kind of get that motor going. Right now we're back at 204, but the C4 <laughs> with the assist, gonna be able to close out the stock at 214 though. That's definitely a problem. Are you really a snake man if you've never blown yourself up with C4? You definitely have to do it at least at one point or another. But there we go. We're going to get the down throw into the forward tilt, taking out that first stock, trying to even things up here a little bit. And look at that up air. Just kind of bouncing that grenade right back up. Oh, my God. And Down Smash has betrayed Zamba twice now in this game, Skip. It's always sending him the wrong way, but he's constantly getting the good idea. Actually, just great uh, awareness as well. Knowing where your C4 is and actually being able to capitalize I'm just a random hit from Nair, just kind of sending him just out enough, being able to pick up that little bit of extra damage. That was beautifully played from Sensei. But we're going to see that forward tilt chasing Snake way up. Not going to be able to get up there quite fast enough. And now Sensei's in a pretty solid spot here. Whoa! Yeah, no, for sure. Zamba, I feel like the tides of the match have completely changed. Good spot dodge, though, by Zamba, but you're going to be met with a foot right in the face. Oh, my God. I said it once. I'll say it again. Snake up tilt is a top 15 character in Smash Bros. <laughs> Just the entire move as a character. Oh, Down throw it's, once. It's better than some characters. I'm not lying. I mean, that's true. Oh, my God. I think it's probably better than Dr. Mario on a good day. <laughs> oh, but there it is. Finally going all the way up there to be able to take out that stock off the top last zone. And Zombo going to even it up. And he might be, right, it might be able to be better than Dr. Mario. <laughs> all right. We're going to just have him, on the, have him in the down tilts there. But Zombo willingly just taking and soaking that C4 damage. Like, eh, not a big deal. Yeah, watch that though. Here we go. Yeah, we saw all that damage trying to come out there. Sensei had a nice little lead going, but now this is just looking rough as Zamba just really starts to pile on the damage. It's going to be a tough recovery. Has to use the C4. Oh, Zamba barely missing on the up air. Oh my god. Great air dodge by Sensei trying to get himself out of there. He does have stage advantage, so we're, we're going to see what he can do with it. But Zamba, that Robner, so betraying, but also that grenade. Definitely a tough spot, and that's going to be actually the forward tilt. He just punched him in the face. <laughs> a haymaker. What a oh, funny man, set. Rob, no, seriously, Rob's just throwing uh, throwing haymakers out there. Going to be able to close it out. But great <laughs> stuff from Zamba. Um, was looking a little shaky there because when you see when you have a snake at like 150, it can be hard to really kind of close the deal unless you get a strong hit because of the fact that snake virtually recovers from anywhere, and more rage on the snake is is terrifying. So uh, good stuff to Zamba, just be able to close that out. And Zamba's going to be moving on to loser semis, where they're going to be awaiting on the winner of Atomisk and Mr. Zircon. And man, you thought the last set was slow? That one's probably even slower. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel bad for Atomisk for what he's about to endure. <laughs> like, I feel hey, like DDD versus, Idi versus Isabel just can't be a good time. Like, it just can't be. Timeout was a way of life back in the day and i'm sure i'm sure adam misk is uh is very familiar with uh having to deal with some timeouts here and there a slow and steady game for sure